New at 6, a new solution to curb domestic violence in Metro Atlanta. The DeKalb County Solicitor General says nearly a third of the cases she prosecutes involves domestic violence, and the number of cases, sadly, is on the rise. Joe Hankey talked with county leaders about the new program they believe could have an immediate impact. Well, Jeff, during domestic violence situations with misdemeanor charges, there's sometimes only a brief window of time of where a victim's attacker is in police custody. DeKalb County is now launching a first of its kind program for the county where right behind first responders will be a victim advocate. Their goal is to talk with and officer offer resources to victims while they're alone. We know the South was the one that probably had the greatest need just based on the data. Today, DeKalb County Solicitor General Donna Coleman Stribling is focused on South DeKalb County. Her office prosecutes more than 13,000 misdemeanor cases a year, nearly one third are domestic violence, many from South DeKalb. The Not In My DeKalb program will have victim advocates meeting with victims within hours of their attacker being arrested. Well, anything we can do to interrupt that cycle of domestic violence and provide the, that information as early as possible and, and make the individual understand we, we know what this looks like, we've seen it. DeKalb County Police say in July, Otis Walker, who is now in jail, shot and killed his girlfriend, then shot at responding officers and hit officer Derek Nunn. Nunn is still recovering. Police had been dispatched to the home eight times since 2018, including an hour before the shooting. It's disheartening at one level to recognize that this is a widespread problem there's no respect to race or geography. DeKalb CEO Michael Thurman says his office is using $100,000 to launch Not In My DeKalb. The program is made up of domestic violence education for county residents and the victim advocate who will be stationed alongside officers at the county's South Police Precinct. And we believe that by working together, we can begin to increase the number of people who are protected and helped and reduce uh, domestic violence related crime in our county. Some of the people we know by name, by first name, last name, we know who the suspect is, even if he's not there. So South Precinct Commander Major Danny fight. Jordan says too often his officers continue to be called to the same homes. He says the victim advocate is the new approach they need. We can have, a, have an advocate, um, a victim's advocate that can come in there and maybe provide some resources and some education components and some intervention. This has, has a win-win all the way around it. It can make, that, make it safe for the officers, make it safe for the communities. The victim's advocate, I'm told, will be on the job in South DeKalb starting in October. If the program is successful there, police and the Solicitor General hope to have advocates at each of DeKalb's police precincts. The educational outreach part of Not In My DeKalb will kick off Friday with a community event. We have details on where and when that will be taking place right now on 11alive.com. Cheryl. All right, Joe, thank you.